Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you very much. And listening to this, this discussion is, I think, one of the fascinating things. And I think that what we're trying to do in preserving some of these programs is the different experiences that people have and bring to the table. And on the Republican side, uh, we had a gentleman talk about his military experience as a military doctor in the medical field. I thought that was fascinating because oftentimes when these discussions come up, they're presented as things that happen in the past. And I haven't had a chance to talk with, with Ronnie about this before. We talk a lot, uh, Representative Jackson, a lot on the plane. He was a, worked in the medical field as well. Something really disturbing today, not back in the 50s or when the military was integrated. They asked a couple of years ago 222 white medical students about black people and uh, biological differences between blacks and whites. And these medical students, because you're, when you're talking about medical students, you're talking about people that have made the best grades in high school, great grades in college to get admitted into medical school. We're not talking about people that are lowly educated. And 222 of these white medical students endorsed false beliefs about blacks and about the amount of pain that they receive. And all of these perceptions that people have today that are completely false, that lead to bad outcomes, A, if it's happening with medical students on the outside, it's happening with medical students in our military too. That's a fact. You can't argue that. You're not gonna say that all, that all 222 of these white people that are studying medicine are wrong, but none of the white doctors in the military prescribe to this. That's a, you, you can't, you're not gonna say all that, that's not true. So let, A, let's establish that. But we need to know why 222 highly intelligent people would think something as ridiculous as black people don't feel pain as easily as white people do. And it's because of the history that we're talking about. It's because of that history that happened before the military was fully integrated that people just didn't want to talk about. We just kind of moved on through history. We, didn't, we never talked about anything. We just sort of moved on. Truman desegregated the military. We just sort of moved on. That's it. That, and, and that's the reason why things linger. The reason why we just got our first black four-star general in the Marines, not 50 years ago. He's from Fort Worth, Texas. He just got it uh, this year. And the reason why that just happened is because of things that happened a long time ago. And that's what the military is trying to study, is the origins of this and how do 222 highly intelligent people come to ridiculous conclusions about black people and pain. And that's the sort of discussion that we need to have, and that's why we need to preserve these things. And that's the sort of perspective that we need to be getting from everybody on this committee on how we can make things like that better. Thank you, Mr.